Today at the Pottery, we're gonna see if Homer Simpson can, can take a bite out of this donut. Hey class, Mr. G here. Welcome back to your virtual art professor here. What we're trying to do is we're doing a series on the Great Pottery Throwdown, and today's piece that we're working on is the donut. Now, the donut is where you're throwing a two-walled vessel, connecting those two pieces at the top so that it has a sealed chamber inside of the clay. Now, my professor, when I started doing these in college, because he brought out a book and he's showing the showing the class, like, these are the cool things that you guys can throw on the wheel. You can do this and this and this. I came across the donut design and I understood the concept of how it's done. And I was like, let me just give this a go. He was really skeptical. He's like, you, you're just started throwing. I don't know if you're going to be able to pull it off. Go give it a shot and see what happens. I did it. And he was really thrilled, and, and but he was like, this is why they did it. Now, because I'm always wanting to get the background on why they do some of these things. What happened was the piece that he was showing me and the piece that he told me why they started doing is back in ancient civilization times, before we had actual proper canteens to hold water, the potters would throw jugs to those giant, those giant Greek vessels. Those would hold jug, hold water, hold honey, hold different things. The donut shape allowed somebody to fill up their canteen, fill up their water bottle, and then carry it on their arms so that you could carry it on your arm as well as carrying other pieces at the same time so it became a multi-use tool where you didn't have to have to hold it the same as you would have to hold the the urns the other jugs and carrying the back and forth so i thought that that was really cool because it was basically early transportation device throwing those pieces initially i thought that was a really cool thing now as you start throwing your clay and you've got it centered you're going to start to separate into two different sections you have an interior section and an exterior section from here you're going to throw two different walls what i do usually is I kind of open it up large as though I'm throwing a large bowl, then open up the middle section to throw up the interior walls and then throw up the outer walls. And then you're going to marry the two once you get them basically to the same size. I like to have mine, my seams more in the middle. Some people like to have theirs on the interior so that they're overlapping on the interior wall like this. Me, I'm more, much more of a like one on top of the other in the middle at the top. Reason being is because I'm going, I'm going to have certain thickness there that I'm definitely going to have on the bottom of it as well. So when I'm going into the trim phase, I can guarantee that that's going to stay sealed better. If I was trimming and it was on the interior lip uh, on the bottom when I flip it over, the pressure of these two pieces sliding together, I think is greater than the two pieces that are sliding at the very top. That's just my two cents on, on how I think those pieces go together. Now for the donut, I don't have my example still. I went ahead and recycled that a couple days ago. I look at this project more as an experimentation. I think this is a fun project to get you guys involved to thinking outside the box of how can you move clay on the wheel? You don't have to just make a functional piece every single time. What else can we do to apply to make it do something interesting, something different that we don't typically see? And doing the donut design, I think is just a fun thing to get you guys a skill level up. Uh, it allows you to make other things in the same time because if you did the interior wall, the exterior wall, and then kind of left it, but you left the interior uh, also in it as another bowl, you got a chip and chips and salsa dip bowl right there, man. Uh, you got a lot of fun things that you guys can do, but it, you're adding more skills into your skill set, and that gives you a, a lot better experience while you guys are on the wheel. All right, that's where I'm going to be ending class today, guys. I hope that you got something fun out of this experience. Again, great pottery throwdown. The people that I'm finding online on IG go check out their websites. I'm putting all their links in the descriptions below, as well as uh, the great pottery throwdown. I think they have a YouTube channel even. Go out there, show some love to these guys. Try and get pottery more into the into the wheelhouse of everybody that we come across. I love clay. It's my thing. I definitely want to do more of it, and I definitely going to continue to do more of it. So, pausing on class today. But before we go, let's go. Not forget our homework, which is like, subscribe, share, and all the various platforms. Get the message out there to as many teachers, friends, students we possibly can. Educate the masses. That is always my goal. Uh, don't forget, if you guys had a question, comment, or concern, raise your hand in the comments below. Happy to answer those questions with my classmates. As always, I will see you guys next class. So until then, later, guys.